Hello there, my most gorgeous, gorgeous friends. Are you ready to play more Subnautica, Blue Zero? Because I definitely am. Oh God, yes, no, that, yeah, no, for for sure. Oh, it's 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 longer. I'm so sorry. It's been a little longer than I meant it to be. But that's fine. What we're gonna do is um get some water. I know we need that. I know I remember that. What? Is water? That's good. That's water. Don't see why it is yet. So, oh, that, that's oh aerogel. Yeah, I. Everything looked possible up till that. That's something weird, is it? Can I build it here? I don't think that's right. I don't think that makes sense. Do I? Ha what is? What is that aerogel stuff made of? Because that sounds familiar from the first game, except even then it was weird. Right? Okay. Yeah. Oh god, and it requires a ruby. So that's that's not gonna be a thing for a while. That's, you know, that's fine. Um, oh, I gotta make a shit. Can I make a locker? Is I've got materials. What the heck was I doing? Did I just come back? I guess I did. I need to make a locker. That's, I think that's a good thing. And then maybe we'll explore some more because I really want, before I get to building too much, I'd like an aquarium. That'd be really cool to have. To, you know, grow all my eggs that I've been collecting. Alright, so here is that this. No, that's our, what, whoop, whoop. For a second. Do you saw that? There we go. Yeah. That's, that looks great. Yes. Okay. Just shove it in there. Let's not think about it anymore. I don't know what this is for. Don't want it. This is empty, but I'll keep it. Ribbon. Oh, I got ribbon plants. But I want to plant them. Right. Alright. I'll leave a first aid kit here. Eggs I don't need. I, um, I don't think I've used a flare in my life, I'll be honest. Oh, useful to distracting certain predators? Gosh, this game needs about ten more slots on the bottom. Because, um, I think, well, I think if, if I was on a uh, keyboard and mouse, it would be faster, but gosh. I, may, 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 may I'll get used to it. Maybe I'll get used to it and be able to go real fast and go, okay, put this on the bottom slot quick, 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 but... And I guess right now I don't need a habitat builder. I could put the flashlight there. That's that's a better thing. But the scanner I like. Everything I like everything. That's the trouble. Okay. Okay, just take everything out. Am I good? I'm good. Well, I need water. I do I you know I do need some water. Let's eat some of those hearts out there and then like maybe explore a bit because exploring is good. I feel like I've been cooped up too long. And uh, I gotta just spread my fins and swim. It did not come out near as clever as I wanted it to. <laughs> Stupid. Man, it's great though. This is wondrous. Yes. I just, I really hope that these... What's it? Hearts? Sea enemy hearts. I hope they don't go away. I hope they stay here forever. I hope they keep regrowing. I know some resources... Don't do that. But I'd like them to do that. At least I assume some resources don't. I don't know how resource responding works in Subnautica exactly. I think when I tried to look into it in the first game, it kind of stressed me out, and so I just decided not to think about it. God, how beautiful is that? Oh, I can't even look at- there we go. That's the most gorgeous thing. Alright, swallow. Lovely. Yeah, just eat it. Well, you know, whatever water we need, we're gonna have to find it on the road. This will be an incentive to, like, actually find stuff. You know, stop getting the map out. But, uh, you know, cause, um... Oh gosh. Sea monkey. Um, god! God, I'm gonna collide with him. But, you know, oh, cause, you know, we'll have to find stuff. In order to live. Is that gel sacks, by the way? No, that's a heart. Alright. Not a heart, an egg. 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 Get the words. And there's another one. It looks like the gel sacks, though. Those gel sacks were by, like, the... Volcano place? Was it a volcano? Yeah, with the f volcano thing in the first game. I don't remember. I was mid-sentence in something, and I don't remember what it was. I apologize. We're gonna find stuff, though. We're gonna do real good about that. God, it's just so much harder on a controller having, like, awareness of where I am and what's around me, because I, I don't whip around there as much as I do with a mouse. It's harder to do that, so I just... 
assume nothing's following me and also not at my periphery vision. I'm thinking what we might head to is what I'm not heading to. Um, whoops. Oh, that, what, no? Not that. That's the recent, th that's that. I would thought maybe we'd go to the pilot's last location. That, because if, if we follow the soap, <laughs> if we follow the, um, the, uh, the, the story thing, if we follow what they've been, the bread, bread trail, bread crop, something, it's from the start, and then it's like, yep, to the Delta Station, and then to that. And that's, that's what it's like right now. And, um, that's good. Right? <laughs> Ah, oh, some sentences are just harder than others to get out there, you know? I do not want to get anywhere near one of those uh, crypto jokers. You know, they just they, th they threaten my life. What is this? Oh, chance of gold. Let's try it. Well, it's not. This is so pretty. Oh god! I can't tell if that's just explosions or. or the crypto guys. Crypto. suckers. Ah, <laughs> oh, what? Stop. Oh, there's somebody. Do you have a red eye? Oh, I met you before, didn't I? Yeah, you're delicious. Okay. 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 Okay, somebody's loud. Somebody's a little. Whoops! I'm wandering into a wall. Somebody's a little upset that I'm out here, huh? What is this? Oh, lithium. I assume that's rare, so I, well, there's about 12 of them. Well, no, there's different- there's a lot of minerals here. They're gonna do that, too. They're gonna put delicious minerals in the exact places where predators roam. Oh, how pretty is that? Whoa, I can scan it. Hardy cave bush. Alright. Gotta read about some of these plants at some point. It looks like sort of a generic -y one, and maybe not one that's, um, edible or anything. I've already gotten that all. Oh gosh. I don't want to get too crazy about it and, and start mining up everything, but if anything- I know nothing's gonna say chance of rubies because it's gonna look like a ruby. That would be stupid. Let me get some air. Oh, daytime. I forgot how much I love it. Being able to see things around me. Also, I guess I live literally underground, sort of. Like, there's ice above me, so it looks dark all the time sometimes, and that gets a little scary. Oh, the music's scary too here, but it's nice. That looks like honey. I shouldn't touch it. Hello, what? Is somebody yelling? Hello? I keep hearing growls, but I'm not seeing the creature they're coming from, so I assume it's just totally ambient sounds and it's nothing actually having to do with me. Oh, am I just heading for the dock again? Oh, god, 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 please. Oh, please don't. I'm scared of those guys. Oh, stupid. I'm like, it looks a lot higher up than I remember. That's great. Oh, kill me. Hopefully it was vaguely in the right direction. Oh, this is a nice little shallow area. Oh, I should just live here. I could have underwater, but also be away from... Scary? Whoa. The music's pretty cool, though. I like it. it makes me feel like I'm in a jungle. What is this? Oh, <gasps> fudge! God! God! <laughs> Don't touch that. Don't touch it. Okay. Should I scan? Can I scan it? Whoa! F fum fumarol? That sounds like a food. <laughs> oh, whoa! Whoa, what is that? That looks like something good. Sulfur. Right, I can get that from. Whoa! Oh, gotcha. Thank you. From those blast crash, crash fish. I'm scared of, of going near anything that looks like a volcano and then having it do that. Detecting stone of an astronautical Soltron vessel nearby. 
vessel name Mercury 2. Inoperative. Okay. I think I see it. I don't like being near these things because it looks like they explode. But also there's creature that I don't want to interact with, please? Oh, he's gone, I think. Ah! He's not dead. That one's not gone. That one's not gone. That's something to scan, but I don't want to. Hello, please let me in. Please let me in. Oh, that's not even the pilot's last location. This is just someplace else. How fun. Can I get in though, please? I think I saw doors on that side, but there's a guy there. Hi, please don't. I like that you have little back legs. They're very cute. Can I get in here without you seeing? Nope, this is not a door. Okay. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure this out. Excuse me. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna figure out if- is this an, an enterable location? Oh, stop. Okay, I just wanna scan this stuff and get in somewhere safe, please. Oh, they just keep making noises. Is this not- maybe you can't enter this. It would be odd to have something this large you couldn't enter though- there it is. I should get some more oxygen, huh? Warning. Yeah, okay. Seconds of oxygen. I already said it. Doesn't count. Okay! Oh, right, I get it. Oh, don't nip in my toes, please. Please. Oh, I'm very scared of that. Oh, it could be the most shallow bit of water and it's still something in the back of your head. Just please don't bite my toes. Please don't bite my toe. What is that? Oh, that's the big guy. That's Mr. Big. Yeah, that's the big one. That's the big one. Oh god, you guys, please! I've waited too long around the entrance and now they're gonna sit there! Oh, I'll go fine, you guys. I'll go scan whatever the thing was over here. Gosh, I'm so glad I got a, a battery charger. It's gonna be so nice. Is this just metal salvage? That's great. That oh, it's a database. What? The heck am I? The heck am I learning about with that? Oh! <laughs> There's things over here. Oh, it's just metal, metal salvage and lithium. Okay. Gosh, I'm gonna get some more oxygen. Wiggle my toes around here, attempt them to bite me, and then go over to the other spot. Okay. God, it was that big one, though. And they have to position the entrance right where he could just put his mouth against the edge and try to bite me, you know? Whoa, I don't like it. Where's where? 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 Where is enter, please? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where is the entrance? <gasps> there. Is this? Yes, please. Please let me in. Oh, it's so pretty. Sealed! Oh, God! What was that? What? Oh, a titanium ingot. That's kind of nice. Metal salvage. I'm sure that's good. Oh, copper wire. Sick. Oh, gosh, though. I think One, I... Do I... Meters. A repair Oxygen tool is in... Decreased. It's like a... It's a welding tool or something. I forgot what tool is needed to open something, but I don't think I have it right now, which sucks. Is that a battery? Because that's a nice. Is that another one? Kill me. I've got to remember this location. Good thing I brought a, uh... Freaking beacon! Huh? It's great. Always remember to have one of those on hand. Just joking. Oh, I, is this the bottom of this? Can I come out this way? I don't like the purple. Morning. Yeah, I do. Oh, yes, I realize. Remaining. I know. She's so very good about the whole oxygen thing. Oh, stop! Oh. Okay. Fudge, do I leave it for later? There's gotta be more to this thing. Oh god, and the pilot's last known location is out by the... It's out by the, 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 the... What's it? The big guy, the big one we saw. Maybe, you know, I think it's great to explore this fully. Uh, you know, you never know what you're gonna find. I think we should just stay in here in this little box. It's great. Oh, I, could I scan something? What? Oh, this little guy? Oops. Spinefish. Hey, little buddy. 
Oh, you're cute. Take you with me. All right. New creature discovered. Yeah. He's cute, isn't he? There's something in there. I can't get in though. I can get it to it from a vent above. Oh, I'm losing my sense of direction so quickly, and it's not good because I don't have all the oxygen in the world. If I go, okay, it was to the left. It would have been to the oh this way, up further, and then things, things please. Oh, laser cut! Oh, laser cutter! That's what I need. Yeah. Good. Two out of three. Great. Okay, water is great. Water is very good. I needed that. Okay, this isn't the place of the window that I was looking into. So there's still more things somewhere. Oh, outside. This will be another way in. I'm I'm weirded out that the uh, crypto sucus sucuses. Have uh, left me alone. It seems. It's nice. It's, it's very friendly of them to do that. It just makes me think they're gathering together to really try to hunt me. Gosh, this hole would have been hard to see. If I didn't already know it was there. Okay, this floor is done with, I think. Let's see. This I can't get into because I need laser. This also? It's not saying it, but I think also. Oh, there's oxygen in there! And it connects to that room! Game? Can't you have it so I can get anywhere if I'm just One. good about it? Okay. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, that's another thing. Yeah, I've been in this room, I realize. And in this one too, huh? Right? Oh, there's not- there's not- they're not gonna show me enough then that goes outwards. Alright, I'm gonna need a laser cutter to get in there. And they're not gonna give one to me? Probably have given me a billion of them by now, but I- Just look at them, I probably think it's like the scanner or something. Something I've seen before. Actually, it wouldn't make sense if they had a scanner lying around that you could scan, then you'd never be able to get this scanner. Am I stupid? Alright, alright, um... I, I haven't seen the big guy in a while, I'm sure he's just, uh... <laughs> having a fun time somewhere. Maybe I'll, uh, skitter around over here. I'm hoping to stay close to some sort of high up land formation, because at least then the big one couldn't come that far, but... I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's something. That's land. Oh, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. And that's a thing, too. What are these things? Are these mushrooms? I don't even care what this is. I need to live under it. Dangerous weather approaching. <gasps> Seek shelter. Whoops! Oh, I just landed! I just jumped out of the water and then I hurt my legs in the landing. I love it. Oh, this is the most wondrous thing. Is this a lily pad? Whoops, scan it, stupid. Mature lily pad! Oh, I love everything about this. I'd like to live here now. Scroll my other home. Is there- is there frogs? Is there a chance of frogs? Is that mean chance of frogs? I love it. Oh god, look at that sucker! Wow! Something about him looks friendly though, huh? Do you want to- do you think we should- I'm not to approach. I want to approach him. That sounds like a whale. That's gotta be nice, right? Are you a nice guy? Why does the scanner have the range of nothing? Please don't eat me. Please don't turn around and eat me. Search- search harder! It's right there! God! It's a freaking whale! Oh god, something sniffed at me. Hey buddy, I'm glad you don't want to eat me. Oh god, there's another one! Oh, have I just stumbled across the most magical place in the world? Oh god, don't eat me though. Oh, fudge. Alright. Let me just sit on a lily pad and contemplate life. Can I get up to one please? I don't think I can jump, but I can use this to jump. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. 
All right, um, I gotta just, just to make sure, I wanna make sure that the, uh, um, what's it, the, the, um, whale is not evil? Oh, is it a leviathan? It is a leviathan! That's my first leviathan! Wow! Glow whales are communal leviathans. Communal? Uh, approximately 30 meters long, often found swimming in the open ocean and occasionally breaching the surface. Photo force. God, it's lightning. Oh, God, that's really close. I, I think it's just. Ho hopefully, it's just in the distance and not an actual possibility for it to hit me. <laughs> uh, you know, just to be safe, maybe I'll, I'll sit here. Where the whales can eat me if they wanted to. F photo force? Glow whales contain several types of bioluminescence. Perhaps the most noteworthy are their photophores, which are incandescent glandular organs found at the corners of their eyes and the pods at the tip of their sail-like pectoral fins. Glow horns. The glow whale's blue horns behave similarly to tuning forks. Oh, the horns receive waves of sound in the water. Gosh, right on cue, he makes some sound. And help glow whales identify members of their pod from a distance. This ability is also used in hunting shoals to determine positioning- or hunting shoals, sorry, to determine positioning of f potential food sources. When pods of whales are at play, they emit a harmonious series of notes that resonate in their horns, and release a series of chemicals that appear to create a joyful response in nearby whales. Th this note's frequency is too high to be heard by human ears. Oh, that's disappointing. I want to hear them play. Assessment passive harbors barnacle and algae. Thank goodness. I was getting a little concerned that at that point they still hadn't mentioned whether or not they would try to eat me, but they don't. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm still confused as to whether or not that's the creature I saw, because I'm pretty sure it looked more like that guy down there. But that looks just like a regular guy. I'm sure the thing I saw was big and also evil looking, but maybe it wasn't. This is so pleasant. Oh, this is such a pleasant place. I, there's some, um, shinies down here that look interesting. I'm wondering if anything around here is food. Because I'm gonna need some water. You can't scan this? It looks so pretty, though. Whoa, what are you, butt? Oh, you're so gorgeous. Are you gonna kill me? You look like a sea monkey a little bit, and that concerns me. Nothing about this, either? God, these floating islands are so pretty. Are they connected to the, the lily pads and that's why they're floating? Rising lily pad. That's so, so beautiful. They're just like balloons down here. Oh, look at that. That pretty guy, he looks like he's got tentacles that can grab me and I have to go down to his level to get to the thing. Oh, there's something shiny down there. Potentially alien. Wow, this is so pretty. Oh, I'm very scared, though, that we haven't found a source of water yet. Do you think if I ask nicely, this guy will give it to me? Oh, whoa. Spinnerfish. Didn't I see one of these in the kelp caves? <laughs> and I couldn't- Oh, bladderfish! Bladderfish, bladderfish, come here. Do you know this guy? Do you know this guy? <gasps> fudge, 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 fudge! Stop, 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 stop. What am I supposed to do? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get to the surface. I don't know what you just did to me. I don't know what you just did to me. You made me go, Whoa, and then spinny. What was that? The heck was that? It's... it's... it's what? What? <laughs> am, I, <laughs> am I hallucinating? I love it! Wow! What purpose would a creature have to do this? Can I read about this? Is, is it an herbivore? Because I guess it's not a carnivore. Really bad there. A medium-sized herbivore with an elongated, bifurcated torso and multiple bioluminescent adornments. He's very pretty. Slow and vulnerable to attack, long arms for seed foraging on the ocean floor, an array of feather-like appendages display varied colors in low-light conditions. When threatened, the paddler emits a firm pheromonal defense that disrupts higher order brain function in certain species, yeah? At night, the paddler's illuminated plumage looks like a school of smaller fish. Perhaps convincing predators they're not worth the chase. 
Dangerous and unfamiliar environments, approach with caution. I love them. I love my friendly, friendly <laughs> jokers that make uh, the colors go all funny. That's wonderful. To be honest, I think that's partially why I was attracted to them, is because they kind of look like a bunch of fish. I just, oh, I'm hungry, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe larger predators wouldn't go for the chase, but yeah, I'm on board. This looks great. You look delicious. That's super cool, though. That reminds me of, um, there was a creature like that. A little bit. Oh, whoa, look at that. And, um, the first game, right? But it was a lot scarier, as I recall. Alright, I, I lost my direction already. It's right below me. Gosh, though, I was headed towards a thing that was shiny, and then I just got distracted. There it is. Is that it? Let's go for that. But thank goodness we found batteries, though, huh? We can refill the, uh... What's it? Oh, I need water, though, bad. Yeah, okay, I know that. Maybe there's some down here. Otherwise, we're gonna have to jump Warning. some raw fish. Is that just a shark with with tentacles on it? Because it looked like that for a second. I want to see what this is. What there's things here. Please, what are you? What is this? Is this something? What is it? It's nothing to scan. It's just some freaking alien power cord. Great. I'm so happy I went all the way down for this. I think I saw something to scan on my way up to. Gosh darn. Alright. Hypothetically, how much water is bladderfish worth? Just as it's- okay, that's not a lot. That's not a lot at all. Actually, that's bad wa that's bad. That's badness right there. What is what? I'm gonna die of dehydration in the ocean. This is so embarrassing. Oh, God. I gotta drink this, but- Vital signs stabilizing. I really need to find some more water. Do you think that lady's place will have water at it? She's gotta drink something. Fudge, stop! I wasn't going towards you! I was going somewhere else, please! You're so cute! Don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! Okay. There's a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. That's what everywhere! Everywhere looks like that! Does it stop me from seeing my things? Where is my thing? Where is the marker? Where did it go? Am I stupid? That looks like a UFO. Oh my god, get it together. Get yourself together. Where is the things? There it is. Am I stupid? Or did it make it go all weird? Because it'd be cute if it made it go all weird. What are these things? Oh, I feel like I'm definitely gonna die down here. Warning. What is that? Fall in the leap pad. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay. Okay, she's not here. It's good to know that she was, but... Did I just eat? No, I didn't eat the thing. I was worried I just ate the signal. That would be horrible. Oh gosh, I don't want to leave this location because I need water, but I do need water. Nobody's around here providing it. I thought maybe if I could eat a bloatfish, it, it would... Or bladderfish, sorry, bloatfish. What am I talking about? Bladderfish. It would, it would serve that same function, but... It's not- it's not doing that. It's not doing that to me. There's nothing that gives me water here. I need water. Oh, I don't want to leave, but I think I might have to. If only just to the, um... Delta. Where was Delta? Delta station. I could go to the Delta station and eat some nuts there. Might be my best option, to be honest. Because I really don't want to leave. And back home is... is even farther away. Gosh, how pleasant to know that the thing I saw that was big and scary looking was hopefully just a whale. And not a large one of these guys. That are scary and horrible and please stop coming closer. That's pleasant, right? Wow, what are these? Can I eat this? Stop! 
the, the entry on them didn't say anything about- Oh fudge! God, God, stop, stop! <sighs> God, the fact that they just crowd around this place. I don't know why they do this. Fudge, I should have known based on the sulfur that I got that they'd be here. Alright. It's good to be back here. This was a this is a pretty place. I just I'm surprised that I guess when they said last known position they didn't say this is her house she lives here but that's what I read that's what I assumed. <laughs> so I I thought maybe that would be there. All right, might end up going back home after all to be quite honest. Because I do need a good source of water. But then I need to also get that source of water all over the place somehow. Just have it all the time. Or maybe I just need to find a better source of water. Like maybe there's a plant that I don't know of yet. I could read about plants and then find out. Because I got a bunch of fish, but it's not like I can cook them on the roads. I know they'd give me some water, but... Where is, where is the nuts? It's down here, isn't it? Right? Yes. I love you guys. Gosh, you guys are great. Even though it's, it's very little water, it's still very nice to have. Anything at all is good. Lovely. Lovely. Gosh, though, idea. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll take the chance to, um, now that I'm in a safe space. Check, cause, uh, you know, if, if something was good for hydration, they'd tell me. They'd tell me about that, right? Plus, I, I, I need to read more about the creatures. Arctic Ray, I mean, that guy looks gorgeous. Fast-moving ray species, well adapted to low temperature environments. Two sets of wing-like fins enable this ray to quickly change directions and accelerate. Like other rays, it is exclusively herb... a uh, river... Herbivore, herbivore. I know what that word means, but it's just herb, herbivorous. I want to say herbivorous. I don't think either of those are right. <laughs> it's an herbivore. It's an. It eats plants. Harmless. Yep. Got it. Um, small ones. All right. Swinefish, a small school mentality prey fish closely related to the hoop fish. Yeah, it looks like him. He's cute, though. He looks a bit like a skeleton. Gray coloration. A combination of near translucent flesh with white rib like markings give this fish a deathly appearance. It takes advantage of this to avoid the attention of its predators. Didn't work here, though, pal. I'm so sorry. You're so cute. Moves in schools for protection, but will disperse and flee if necessary. Whereon, those fortunate enough to escape the gaze of their assailants will make for the sea floor and hide amongst the de detritus. Detrit 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 the stuff there. Yep. Edible. Low calorie count. Spinnerfish. This guy's so pretty. <laughs> He's so weird looking. A bizarre fish with star-like fins which it spins to generate propulsion. Capable of very high speeds in a straight line. Slow, wide-turning circle. Like other small prey fish, they feed on a variety of seeds and grasses around the seabed. Edible. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen, but I love him. That's... I mean, how do you... Even if you can spin like that, how do you, how do you actually go places? Because I know, they know starfish, they, they've actually got little, like suction cup thingies that they move on they can they can move and that's something but these guys i can't uh, that doesn't look efficient but i still love them all right god i'm still we got our first little boy at them that's beautiful we should have checked them for their barnacles and stuff gotten up close i can't help but feel they'd be like opportunistic carnivores though and if i went towards their mouth they'd just sort of yawn and there i would be gone that's the impression I get. Alright, okay. Exploitable flora. That's just exactly what I was after. I'm curious though, what is the one cor one coral? That's the table coral. Each disc is an individual colony of microorganisms filtering nutrients from the water. Growth patterns indicate the colonies are in direct competition for positions with superior current or light. 
Unlike other coral species, its structure is malleable, softly pulsating as it pumps nutrients to its extremities, and only turning rigid when it senses physical assault. That well, that's kind of bonkers. It's a very, very sentient like coral. The jewel-like nodes in the surface are concentrated buildups of rare minerals the coral is unable to process. Well, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Let it sit there. I don't want to eat this. Uh, exploitable in computer chip fabrication. Alright, let's check these out. Cre oh, we know creep vine. A kelp species concentrated in large forests and shallow sandy waters. Loose roots anchor the plant to the sea floor from where it grows steadily towards the surface in pursuit of sunlight. The stem is fibrous and rich in iron, making it both a viable base material for fabrication of textiles, as well as a basic foodstuff. Oh, I die I never tried eating it. That's the stem, huh? That's just stabbing it? I gotta try that. That's great. This is exactly what I was looking for. Vital alien resource, edible, construction applications. What more could you ask for? Honeycomb fungus. This hardy fungus erupts through the thick ice shelf. It sends a collection of hyphae filaments uh, that collect nutrients and moisture deep into the ice shelf until it hits permafrost. From there, the hyphae... They're gonna keep making me say that. I don't know what that is. Is it just their little tendrils? The hyphae intertwine into a thick root-like system called mycelia cords. These mycelium do efficiently pull nutrients from the soil. I mean, I think in context, I can assume what that's trying to say. It's just those d weird words. You know, they're it, it, it just. I think with a lot of words that I use on uh, it, just even words on the regular. If you asked me to define them, I would be flabbergasted. I just <laughs> I can use them in a sentence, but. Gosh, you know, when you actually think about that, what is, what is, what, what is that? Not that I've used this word. I don't think I've used hyphae or, it's fine, it's great. Sulfur plant, these plants appear to serve as nests for the explosive organisms which guard them. The outer petals are undamaged by the presence of the inhabiting creature, suggesting a complex co-development. The plant has evolved to feed on nutrients and minerals deposited within it by the fish. Sulfuric deposits on the inner leaves provide an insight into the mechanism by which the creatures explode. Specimen sulfur has applications in construction of the repair tool. Interesting that that's the only thing it says. You'd think there'd be other things for sulfur. Maybe I should stop picking it up. <laughs> Gosh, that, that, that doesn't say a lot about the food stuff. This is exploitable as in, like, building materials. It's not necessarily, um, foodstuffs. So, um, maybe I'll check more, like, I'm, I'm just gonna look at the sea ones, because I'm going into the sea, and I'm gonna just, I'll just touch whichever one looks the most edible to me. Let's see, uh, let's see, the, the lily pad, that just looks very edible. Fallen lily pad, eventually mature lily pads die. When the large leaf allows for an effective area for photosynthesis, there are limited nutrients stored in the earth and hang- wait, what? Oh, God. While the large leaf allows for an effective area for photosynthesis, there are limited nutrients stored in the earth and tangled in its floating root system. When the mature lily pad runs out of nutrients, it will begin to wither and fall back to the seabed, which begins the cycle anew. A fallen lily pad provides nutrients for young seedlings to grow, and provides temporary nutrients for other flora and fauna. That's precious. Oh, that's so precious. I like the thought of just this sweet, sweet little lily pad growing up, raising to the surface. I gotta read the other ones, don't I? Let's see, the lily pad root, why don't we? Tangled, dense root structures that occasionally pull chunks of terrain from the seabed, connecting an intertwined network of plant life and suspended rock. Oh, gosh, I just love the thought that they... Little balloons down there, that's so sweet. Rising lily pad. The lily pad starts to rise as a result of underwater gas exchange. As the lily pad engages in photosynthesis, it takes in carbon and emits oxygen. Unlike other plants that, em oh, that emit oxygen directly into the water, the lily pad stores the oxygen in its, its sealed fan. Eventually, enough oxygen is stored that the lily pad becomes buoyant. The root system pulls a chunk of the seabed up 
on its way to the surface. Isn't that lovely? They're balloons! That's so sweet! Let's see, um... Uh, mature, there we go. Once the rising lily pad breaches the surface, its sealed fan slowly it releases, causing the leaf to unfurl into a large flat circle that floats atop the surface of the water. Despite its size, the mature lily pad is able to float due to surface tension. That is wonderful. Oh, don't you just love lily pads and everything they represent in their lives? They're just magical. They're little, you know, I want to say toadstools, but <laughs> that's already taken by something, isn't it? Frog chairs, it's great. They're wonderful. They just... so sweet. Um, they're not edible though, unfortunately, and they're the only plant I recognize as being from over there. What else did we scan? I know we've seen bullseye shrooms before, they're edible, aren't they? Uh, it's harvestable fungi found growing near coral bridges. The, and that's near the beginning, right? The mushrooms are noteworthy for their thick, meaty caps. These caps manage to produce a small amount of chlorophyll, which makes it capable of some photosynthesis. But the mushroom still gets most of its nutrients from dead matter in the seafloor. Harvestable and plantable. That's wonderful, but... Oh gosh, it, it, it would be nice if I were to discover that one of these plants did give me a lot of water. Because then I could make a garden underground. I'm sure I could find enough titanium to do that. And then if I were to do that, I could do it over here without having to go back home, couldn't I? Just have a random plant around the middle of nowhere, there's titanium all over the place. And... I don't need a foundation or anything to make a plant or somewhere, do I? Or did I discover that I did do that? I thought you could just make a planter anywhere, right? Fudge, I might try that. But yeah, I'm gonna first need a, um, whoops, a, uh, good source of water and a plant. And that's tricky to find. Also, I'm picking up a bunch of fish and I don't really need them. Food has been my least concern as of late. I've been filling up so much on food and, and just sucking out the water. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm thankful there's so many nuts here. I hope they're growing back. Oh gosh, is it raining? That's so pretty. If it's somewhere in our nice cave. Oh, we could live here. We could live anywhere. That'd be wonderful. Alright, um... What? What am I doing? My building- Oh, I, I don't have enough for a planter, do I? I don't know why I went here. All I would be looking for is a planter, and I don't have enough for one. I need... Is it two? Titanium? I'm thinking a big... That's called it an indoor row bed. Maybe just a, maybe there's a plant pot. Still two. Or no, this one's four. Okay. Oh, okay. Alrighty. I'll eat some stuff and then maybe look for some titanium. I'm gonna need some water. But the only thing good for water is anemone hearts. And those suckers, I don't think I can grow those suckers. They grow in a way that's upside down and I can't do that. Can I eat you please? Would you be okay if I ate you? How about open your mouth and then just suck on the snowflakes? I think that's possible. Or just like, um, eat the snow. Like, right? It's not like anybody's been here. D is that not a thing? Can I not pick up like a snowball? That seems like a genius move. Just hold it next to these flowers. Let it warm up because it, it's not like... Well, actually, I don't- I, I'm pretty sure. No, yeah, the water falls and it's not- It's not salt water. It can't be salt water that, that falls. That doesn't make sense. The water system doesn't do that. I thought there's snowballs around here, right? It wasn't just at the other place of the snowman. I don't think they allowed me to do that, though. Would be nice if they did, though. I would have liked that. Oh, gosh. I'm stupid about finding any exit. I apologize. Just heading back to where I know I want to go, but I shouldn't yet because I don't have any liquid. Can I just jump off? Oh, I don't like being around here though, because there's these guys. Oh. Fudge. It's just tricky because to get 
the good source of water. I'm gonna need a ruby. And a gel thing. Or not the gel, the, the little squishy thing. Is that a gel? Whatever that thing was. I remember it took me a very long time to discover what they were in the first game. Oh my god, I didn't know you could interact with those things, and then it turned out you could, and oh my god. It took me forever to find them. Oh, I'll just grab the- Hey, gold! Yeah! I don't even need that. <laughs> That's great. Okay, eggs in here. Can I eat an egg for some water, please? I don't remember if I have you as an egg, so I'm just gonna leave you. So sorry. This is scary. Oh, fudge! Oof. I don't know about that. Somebody likes putting their eggs here, though. I don't- I don't like this. I don't like- I don't like- I feel like in any second it could explode and kill me. Are these- are these edible, please? Are you edible? You don't look like you'd give a lot of water, but I'm willing to try. Oh, kill me. Maybe the easiest thing to do would be to just, like, build a temporary habitat so I can cook my freaking bladder fish and liquefy them? I don't know. I've gotta- I've gotta be smart about this and remember how I normally get water. Like, <laughs> the uh, bladder fish is the only way I can think of. But, um... I guess... The anemones were good. I could check out if kelp is good. Oh, here I can get some titanium here, and then I can find out if I can grow plants underwater. That would be nice. Can I put one of these down? Please! Okay, how about if I put down the grow bed? Is it just because it's not a flat surface? If I get to a more flat surface? It's hard to see anything. I'm going down a hole. Ah! This might not be the best neighborhood for this, but, um... Can I please build this? Please set this down. This is a nice patch of land. Please? Please? Okay, so do I have... Enough for a fountain? Lead. I need lead. I'm sure there's lead around here. I'm sure there's lead around here. It's not just freaking... Any other day, I'd be very happy to find these things, but... <gasps> lead, please. Please be lead. It's silver. At least I get silver. Why do I keep breaking it open if I know it's not going to contain the thing I want? Don't know. It'd just be nice to establish... What? Well, just establish in my mind? I swear on the last game. And, you know, the first of Nautica, you could... Take... A, um, planter and just put it wherever the heck he wanted it. I swear I had random ones out for, um... Gosh, I would have been a... Oh, ha <laughs> ha! I just saw that, it's, you know, stuff. It, it, I had, um... I'm so sorry, I keep forgetting to put things away while I'm swimming. I always get annoyed by myself later when I see myself do it, but in the moment I'm not even thinking about it, I apologize, but... But uh, no, I swear, I know. You could, I, I, I remember setting up a lot of um, planters on the floor, I thought. To just grow it. Like, I'd have a habitat, and then next to it, I'd have a, a, a plant. Is that a lily pant? Is that a jellyfish? Is that an alien? <laughs> what are you? Hello? You look like an alien. Hello? Juvenile vent garden? It does look like a little garden in there. Oh, you are the most pretty thing! Wow! I feel like if I touch your tentacles, I'll die, though. <gasps> God, that's a- that's a- that's a bad- that's a bad- Oh, you're cute. Hello? Are you something new? I don't recognize you. Discus! Hey, that looks like a little rocket ship. What in the world? New creature discovered. 
Please tell me they're good for water and nothing else. Hey, buds. I'm gonna need some- Oh, whoa, whoa, what was that? Is you new? Are you new? Arrow ray. Oxygen. Okay, okay. Gosh, all these creatures. Oh, hey, buds. Do you know how to get water? Do you know where water is? Are you leading me to water? Please. You look so fluffy. Oh, I just want to pet you. I just want to rub you on your little back. Do you guys have any water in here? What do you guys drink? Can I have this? You're not letting me have this. Is this because it's an owned object and this is your home? If I steal this, would you would you become hostile? Is that why they're not allowing this? Why can't I take this? <laughs> All right. Hey, okay, you got more. You got more buds in here. This is your little little cave. Oh, and you got a little warmer thing here. Just in case you want to take a nap or something. Wow. You guys. There's a thing back here. Did you see it? Look at this thing back here. It's some alien thing. Did you want this? Can I have it? <laughs> These guys are so wonderful. Invite me into their home and let me take their ion cubes. Scan their things. Wow. Material and nano- uh, And- Ah! Oh, I get nuts in here! Yeah! Material analysis. Something- I <laughs> forgot the last word in my trials to say that. Um, let's close this for now. Is it a personal thing? No, that's just my things. Right. <laughs> Screw that for now. Uh, it's not a tech thing. Is it- Oh, uh, alien data, of course. Um, material analysts- ana a See what I mean about words sometimes? I want to say analysts. That's nothing. That's nothing. Analysis. Station. Resembling a human electron microscope or mass spectrometer, this tool appears to be designed for the purpose of analyzing physical raw materials. It is speculated that the scanning up apparatus might be designed to collect small-scale DNA recipes for the replication of non-living objects. What? What? I love how even the diagram there has a question mark on it, as if to say, what, what is that? What is that object? <laughs> it's probably just saying it's scanning it, but I'd like to think whoever made that diagram is just... <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, this green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially. Cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of five kilotons, kilotons of TNT. Under the right conditions, the energy could be released in a controlled manner. Likely used as batteries, but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Valuable energy source. Yeah, that's the impression I got. I just forgot about them, I guess. They seem familiar, but I don't, I don't remember using them in the first game. Can I, can I stand here? It said non-living, so I guess not. Maybe. Can I drop something there? Can, hey, guy. Well, you guys are living. Sorry. Sorry. Forgot. Um. I mean, t if I... Well, let me... Let me... Can I plunk a titanium in here? Scan it. Do something. Duplicate it. Do you already have something duplicate? It's- it doesn't imply that I can use it, does it? Also the fact that it's covered in, in dirt in some places. It was worth a go, though. I'm very proud that I did this, and I get, I get to eat all the nuts here without any shame, because I'm probably not going to be able to find this little cave again. That's so- so cute, though. I don't understand what- what the device they have is. In that it's able to, like, duplicate non-living- Can I read that again? Did I read that stupidly? The scanning apparatus might be designed to collect small-scale DNA recipes for the replication of non-living objects. Alright. 
you say so, aliens. Hey guys, sorry, I didn't mean to trip on ya. Um, just, uh, because I got lucky, I guess. Well, not lucky. You guys told me where to go. Do you guys know where to go? Like, I got lucky in finding you guys, in that you had somewhere to go. That was good. Do you have anywhere else? Which eyes are your eyes, or are they both your eyes? It probably said something about that, and I've forgotten. Because if I think of the little ones at the bottom as your eyes, you look like a weird, dopey-looking owl, but... With the other ones, okay, I'm sorry. I've offended him now. I ju that's- it's all just my way of saying you're very cute. You guys are wonderful. Oh, thanks for this- thanks for this, guys. I was- I was uh, all ready to say I am depressed, I- I can't find any lead, and I'm not gonna be able to- I still can't take this. I'm not gonna be able to make my foundation, but you know what you guys said? You said, here's some weird alien thing. You can have this. And that's nice. You know what? That's just pleasant. <laughs> Is this lead? It's silver! Bah! I'm not gonna have the energy. Energy. And in inventory space. When words start out the same, my brain gets a little confused sometimes and just finishes it for me. That's not the word I want. It's inventory. I'm not gonna have an inventory space to do anything. Are you new? No, you're the arrow guy. Um... If I keep picking up stuff, though, I'm not gonna have the inventory for everything. I guess I don't have to preserve, um, battery anymore. But gosh, I'm gonna need some better water. I'm gonna need some better water. That's just the thing of it. I need better... better water. I'm gonna have to try eating some kelp. If I can find some. But this place just has volcanoes around it, and no one wants to come close or grow close because it's horrible. Those, those crypto Tsukas guys probably chomp up anybody that comes close. Alright. Oh gosh. Whoa, that thing's gonna explode, huh? Is it lead? Copper. Lead? Yes! Titanium. This is great. I've, I've got to build better places. Maybe I should just go home. Oh, but then I really want... Oh, I really want some... Some things. Like the ruby to do the... the water thing with. But there's some pretty deep places near my home that could potentially have rubies. I would just like to like be mid-sentence talking about this and then somehow come across a ruby. That would be great. I, I know, I know, I just hope this would- I'd hope that would fill me more. Wow, what is that? What? Okay, yeah. I <laughs> just stumbled across something cool, game, alright? Can you give me a break about this whole oxygen thing? God! Like I need to breathe or something. Let me um switch out the battery just before I forget. I don't want to have to deal with that midway through this cave. Also, where is the entrance? There it is. I'm gonna have trouble getting my way back out. I know that. I know that so well. Cause I'm bad about directions. What? In the world is this? Architect artifact. I didn't go to the the scanner place, did I? Mineral distillery. New technology acquired. Quantum locker. That sounds like it's just a better locker, which isn't super great. I don't really need one of those. I already built one. I don't plan on storing too much inside of it. That's such a small little cave. It wasn't too bad. I was really thinking that it would, um... It would open up to a sprawling alien place, but it did, it did not. It did not do that, and I'm okay with that. I really am, because I don't have the most oxygen in the universe. Gosh! Lead? Is there any lead, please? 
Because what my brain does when I worry about this is like, I'm gonna accidentally break open every spot that could contain lead. It's silver, it's not it's lead, lead, lead. Oh, yes! God, no! I thought I- do I need- do I need two or one? Please tell me I just need the one. That would be lovely. I- it's partially lovely. It's- that's yeah, not great. Okay, good. Cause it just- if, if I'm gonna struggle like this every time, I just wanna plant something down. Gosh, and I'm close enough to a plot- a plot- a place. A place that has, um... That has plants, anyway. I- you know, I might as well just go home. Now that I think about it. I gotta- I gotta plan more for my outings and... Maybe get leads before- because I know I stored some at home. And I gotta build an underwater garden there, too. And, um... And I, I get the feeling that... I don't- I don't know. This place here looks like it would have rubies down deep. But that place over there with the lily pads, for some reason that's just not screaming lilies. A lily? It's not screaming rubies to me. Did I say lilies? Am I having some Warning. sort of stroke? 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I, I could discover that midway through this. Gosh, though, it's still so gorgeous. No, but I, I, I'm... I'm happy. We got some good exploration done. And we've paved the way for, for some more, um... Building, I think. I'm gonna be less... And see about getting out of getting out of my house. <gasps> Ribbons. Do I have room? I have just enough. I want to have excess batteries. Batteries to spare. Cause I'm pretty sure big batteries take little batteries to make. Don't quote me on that though. Gosh. I, I hopefully I'll find some. Good water food source, or maybe I can grow the frost in enemy hearts or whatever on on gardens. I sh I'll try. I'll be able to try now, cause I'll uh, you know build a planter underground, build a foundation, and then plant stuff. Am I going the wrong way? I'll never be quite sure. I love my house dearly, but I'm not. I, every day I question whether or not I've done this correctly in choosing a spot. It's lovely and beautiful, but it doesn't have any water. I should try that snowball thing, though. Because that would be nice. That would make sense. I can't- oh, I can't grab it now, do I? I need to put some stuff away. Welcome maybe make some happen. water... I think I grabbed, like, maybe one bladder fish, so- or two? Come on, give me a lot! Okay, just a two. That's fine, I suppose. I gotta chug them right now. Gosh, um... Right, I think I can put in... Alright, let me get the repair tool out. God, and we still need that what's it tool? The laser cutter. Alright, so put this in. What did I not have several batteries? To exchange? In there? Didn't I have a lot of batteries that didn't have a lot of battery to them? Am I stupid? I'm sure I switched out one of the sea glides. Oh, did oh did the, the what's it? The repair tool did just didn't have a battery in it, wasn't it? That makes sense now. Okay, so that's why I don't have any uh extra. Got it. Might as well just put a new one in the sea glide just to have it. And what am I doing? Oh yes. If it would be so great if I could just melt the snow out here and eat it. Is that a thing, please? Can I eat this? Whoop. 
Okay, can I if can I go in here and eat this, please? Please allow me to melt this. You can cook everything else. Can you please just cook this, please? Please? Please, I'm pretty sure this is a viable, viable way to get water. If you just put it in like a pot or something and let it melt. It's fresh. It's that nobody's been here in millions of years, I'm pretty sure. Except for my sister or whatever. Oh, wait, whoa. Oh! Oh, now that's pretty sick. That's what a quantum locker is. Storage illusion which shares content with all other quantum lockers. So it's like one of those storage things that is the same storage thing anywhere you put it. That's kind of interesting because in a game that... I don't know. I feel like um, other games I can kind of excuse it because they're less... I'm not saying this is it's incredibly realistic, but it it it, they, they, it feels like they should have an explanation for it before they just put it in the game. Like I know in like Terraria, you, like the piggy bank is like that, I think, and it's like okay, it's just a, I, I I that's fine, it's a piggy bank, this sure. And with this, you know, I feel like they and they came up with something. It's like oh, it's an alien thing. That makes sense. I like it. Anywho, um, gosh. Let me cook a fish. Oh, that poor spinner guy. I'm so sorry. Are you delicious? Oh, you just look the same as you went in. Oh, it may turn your stomach. Alright. Gosh, okay. Let's try getting a freaking lead out. I've got a billion in here. Oh god, should I try building it just outside of my place? I should, because I need water. These nuts are not gonna sustain me. I'm gonna need something, and... If it's right outside the place, who cares? Who in the world cares? Whoops, I'm, I keep doing that. Go to this, and... Habitat. To here. Good. So I'm gonna be embarrassed if... It turns out to do nothing. But it can, you can dismantle stuff, right? Does it give all the resources back? Hopefully. I don't need it to look at the sky, necessarily, because it doesn't require power. It's just gonna be a foundation with some... plant pots on it. I'm hoping all I need is a foundation. Have it. That looks great. Right there. Looks wonderful. Construct it. Did I put all of my titanium away? Because... I might actually be stupid. My... What? I, do, I, do, I, do, I don't know what I'm thinking sometimes. Except for it's stupid. That's fine though. I should put away the copper. Copper wire that I got. And the silver, I think, and the gold. Let's throw the precious stuff in here ingot. That's very nice. I'm sure it'll be good for building a... Oh, yeah, I should build a, a vehicle thing, shouldn't I? Do I have stuff for that? Because that would be nice to have. Is it, a is it a deployable at first? Is it one of these deployable things? Yeah, yep. Oh, and it's an ingot! Yeah! And a computer chip, which I need table car, don't I? And lubricant, which is... Th that should be fine. That's just great line. All right. What is? Uh, what did I? What was I? What was I originally doing? No. <laughs> oh, right, the titanium. Right, 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 right. Oh, the computer. Oh, yeah, computer chip is. Ta uh, more table car. Oh, we got the gold. We got the gold and the copper wire. We're on fire. That's great. All right. Should I even bother with this? <laughs> I'm just gonna be able to get a vehicle anyway. I'm not gonna be able to get a vehicle. I'm not gonna. Get that ahead of myself, but I'll at least be able to build the thing that I can build vehicles off of, which is very important. Hopefully, there's table coral near here. I, I'm gonna keep building the foundation though. Screw it. That we got one thing at a time, right? That's most important. All right, this better work. Because I'm going to be very depressed if it does not. Okay. Two. 
a um, can can you build a grow bed here? An indoor grow bed? You cannot. You cannot do this. Okay. Can you build basic plant? Okay, you cannot. You cannot do these things. Is there a, is there an underwater plant pot that I am missing? Why can I not put these? Th please, I thought this was the same thing. What, can I please dismantle, dis deconstruct this? Do I get all my materials back? That looked like two lead. That was everything. Fudge, God! Don't do that to me, please. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that's a little disappointing, but... At least we know now. I'll... Have to think about that. To be honest, I forgot. Um... What? Sort of... Planter I used in the first game. It must have been something different if I can't use it now. Anywho, alright. The thing is, I need ta table coral and... Something else. Table coral. That's not you. Also, probably just some... An enemy hearts. By the time I find the table coral, I'm gonna need some. God, I saw him head on and I thought he was a weird jellyfish. Oh, I should look up about that jellyfish? Isn't there a way to use salt to make water? Am I stupid about that or was that a thing? I think that was a... Th no, wait, that's probably... Th that's what you get from the salt. Salt is the way to make the, f the fish last longer. I am being stupid. I just picked up something for nothing. That's fine, though, I guess. I mean, I can use the salt for making fish for my long journeys in which I'm gonna dive thirst and not food. There's those little bullseye shrooms. I don't really need that right now, though. I just would really like... Oh, is this tick? Am I so good? What? I should be looking for the coral. I don't know what I'm trying to look for, but it's not the coral. I'm just listening to the groans around me. Oh, fudge. I could try eating one of these, huh? Just to see what it tastes like. I wanna get away before the sea monkey steals my things, though. Is it delicious? It's not great. This <laughs> is not wonderful. Okay, it's good to know. I know I'm going in circles, but I swear there was like a deep spot and deep spot, so we're sort of where um table coral is, aren't they? They're on like the edges of things, kind of bright looking things, orangish. Looking. Oxygen. Oh, okay. Woof. Somebody sounded angry. Alright, I apologize, friends. This could be going on very long. And I do apologize for that. I did start a little early today. And so I'm just raring to go more and longer. But I should probably wrap it up at some point. I just hope to you could find a little bit of table coral. But then I, I'm gonna need a lot of it. I know I'm gonna find some, get so excited about finding it, run back home, and then realize I needed more than I thought I did. That's- that's just the inevitability here. That's- that's- that's what's going to happen. Eh, just seeing it would be nice. Oh god, is that a sea monkey nest? Is it? There's nothing in it, though. No thing. There's nothing. like grapevines. I don't like being around them. I don't want to go down into their hole. It's amazing how much your perception of an area changes when they do the color palette switch and the water looks greenish and you feel like you're gonna be mugged any second. Oh god, sea monkey. Get out of here. Where is the place I was going? Because the place I was, I was in just a little while ago looked like prime prime table coral spots it looked just great for that stuff I've probably seen so much of it by now 
oh, but I shouldn't stress out about it. I keep thinking, oh, I'm gonna need to find food and stuff. I can always go back home. Eat up a bunch of nuts. Everything will be wonderful. It would just be exceptionally nice if I could find what I'm looking for. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Alright, cause I'm, I'm a little worried I'm headed towards the spot with, um... That scary looking leviathan we saw instead of the... The friendly looking whale ones? But I guess if I get eaten that'll be an exper experience. He looks just regular. back towards home and I I don't know that home had them not home home but home original home I'm gonna call everything a home I'm gonna start living everywhere but especially on a lily pad Cause that's that's like a dream no gosh though I'm disappointed if this is not the area I thought it would be I thought it would be like the, the, the sheer kind of cliff edges and not like the... The freaking place, the gosh darn sea monkeys and the great lines. Oh, I need lubricant as well. Should I take some of these? Oh, can I, do I still have to scan them? What was the scan prompt? What? What? Where was- where were you say? Oh. I guess I never scanned them. I think it takes two. So I guess I let that out of the way. I'll have that ready at my place. And, um... Because I, fe I feel as if we've- we've done- Oh god, sea monkeys. I feel as if we've done a lot, and I'm just going in loops right now trying to find table corals, or... Gosh, though, it's funny how I go, well, yep, one thing at a time, one thing at a time, and then my goal is switched, switch, switched, fudge, switched entirely from finding a source of water to, please let me have a vehicle, I'd like a vehicle, please. Feels stupid. I think I already have the grav trap. I'd build it, but I think it'd be more useful at, um, is this an egg? Yes. I'll take it. It was a hard one to spot. Um. I don't remember. Fudge. Is the water good? We need water eventually. Uh, the vehicle will help us find water, right? Because we'll be able to go super far and then find. Find the, the water. It's so hard to find in this ocean, you know? You look everywhere, but you just can't see it. Nightmare. Gosh. Uh, what's a nightmare? Is just trying to climb up somewhere sometimes? It's really tricky. I can't just jump out of the water. There we go. Right, and I have to read about that alien thing that I found. I shouldn't forget about that. That seemed interesting, and I don't want to, um, aboard, forget where I found it, <laughs> but I might have, I might have, I don't remember where it was. Oh, the, are these water? These give water. So it would be, I have a plant then, if I get creep vine and plant that, and I could plant these, those are the seeds. If I like get more of these and then plant them, that would be great. I just need to know how to plant them. <laughs> I need an underwater planter. And I'm gonna have to explore underwater to get it. And you know what would be good to explore underwater with? Is a vehicle? You know what I mean? Alright. Mineral distillery. The structure of this device and internal scans indicate a likely utility in processing and extracting minerals out of the water. The device is engineered to suck water into a superheated primary chamber. 
As the water boils, steam is forcefully condensed back into a separate chamber that releases the processed water back into the ocean. The minerals that are left behind are gathered in the attached container module. Activation and control parameters remain unknown. That would be cool. If there's ever a, a Subnautica sequel, I mean, we gotta have the access to this thing, right? That sounds really nice. Just a sucking in water, and it, plus you could have water out of it. It could be just like a, a little t valve out the side, and then like a bucket at the other end for the the, the, the minerals. <laughs> that would be great. Puh. What? I got another leviathan? Oh, the, 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 the jellyfish guy. Roughly 20 meters long, the juvenile vent garden represents the immature life stage of the fully grown established vent garden. What is a fully grown established vent garden? Is there a bigger one of those that are wandering around? Its head sort of looks like a screw. Uh, this gentle giant appears to swim in aimless looping circles around mature vent gardens. I didn't see one of those around. Unless... I, what, what is a vent garden? It's gotta be a sentient creature. This is a sentient creature. It has tentacles. Swimming. While their swimming can seem directionless at first glance, the young vent garden is actively growing and strengthening its tentacles for when it finds a vent upon which to anchor and mature. That's what it means. Okay. So that's why if there's a mature one, it I guess it doesn't look like this guy. It, it looks like it's rooted in place. We can't see the, the roots, I guess. Bell. The bell of the juvenile vent garden remains sealed until it anchors over a vent. Oh! That's also why we don't see a bubble. I'm, God, I'm wondering, what what does a mature one look like? Alright. Once anchored, the heat and pressure activate a cluster of latent stem cells that develop into an opening over the course of a few months. Assessment. Docile. Not a threat. That's, that's good news because that's very pleasant of a creature. Gosh, that's beautiful. I'm so glad. I'm so glad we've been finding friendly things and not horrible, horrible chomping on us, eating us things. Because, um... Well, I guess there's only a matter of time before we find those... Those very mean ones, but it's just nice to live in the moment for a little while. Um... Right. I forgot there, there was a way. I've just forgotten how to do it, though. But I remember a way in the first game to... to make even bigger water bottles. And it was sort of an involved process that I often ignored, but I know it was there. Gosh, I'd love to just eat this, though. Just stick it in your mouth. Just eat it. Bwah, anywho. I think we've probably been going on a super long time. Probably, I don't know. It's, um, it's, yeah, it's great. I'm happy with the progress we made. We've discovered lily pads, which is wonderful. I wish I could look at a map. That's the thing about this game, though. It's beautiful in that it doesn't have a map because it's so different feeling than any other game. But oh, I guess I could look at the other map and speculate where I am on it. Even though I'm never going to be able to really know because I'm not quite sure <laughs> what the Greek symbols are. Exactly. I don't know. Am I stupid? I looked at all of these and I went, hmm, what? Now, was it Altera? Was it Altera personnel? Was it maps? God, am I stupid? <laughs> all right, though. All right. So. Right. Oh, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote some of these down. I think I remembered that. Yes. So. Delta. We know Delta. We know what Delta is. And that is, that is the triangle, and then the, the other one. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. I, th I think, I think, we're at the top. Oh, and you, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Do you think the, um, Omega, at least I think that, that one, that's an Omega. I'm pretty sure that's Omega. It's by the lily pads? That's why it looks like they're little green dots there. Oh my word. That is adorable. I love it. Biological research classified. It's gotta be important. It's super cool. But again, you know, it is 
the fact that that lady's um last what's it last known position is it there to direct me towards the research lab or was there something else I was supposed to find there? Cause I didn't. Granted, I just gave it a cursory glance. I just like got to where she was last seen and then just left. But um, maybe maybe she left a bread breadcrumb trail of like machine parts because she got attacked by the whales or something. But I I didn't see anything. Maybe um I shouldn't just keep letting my needs go down. I should save as well. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to go back. We'll have to go back when we've established something of a water source, I suppose. That would be smart. Or if we could easily establish, like, another house, maybe that would be good, too. But then I'd have to build, like, a, a plant or bring some, you know, shrub nuts. You know, get another bladder fish, get copies of all these posters somehow to make it feel homey. Homely. And, um, <laughs> a fabricator and everything. There's always that one resource that's just tricky to get, and I think fabricators take table coral, and table corals being that resource for me right now, so what do you do? I think that'll be it for now, but I'm excited to play more. I'm excited. Oh, those lily pads are so pretty. And we're on the brink of, of a vehicle, I feel like. <laughs> we're almost nearly kind of close, which is great. Anywho, that's it.